Hello, welcome to our training video on how to configure a log tag. The information that you need to set up is shown on this screen. You can pause this video at this stage and simply use these settings, but I will go through them now in a little bit more detail to explain what they all mean. The first setting is the user ID. This is where you enter whatever you like to identify the log tag. It could be the name of the fridge, the name of your practice, the name of your business, it's anything that makes life easier for you. The second option is how the log tag will start. By default it's on push button start and you can leave it there. Just remember however that when you take the log tag out and you put it in the fridge you will need to hold down the push start button for it to record. If you don't do this it won't be recording. This feature allows you to be able to program the logger now and then take your time before you put it in the fridge but as soon as you put it in the fridge, remember, push the button. Enable pre-start logging can be left off. Record readings continuously, overwrite oldest when memory full, needs to be turned on. And then you need to specify how often you want a reading to occur. Our recommendation is one reading every five minutes. The enable the OK green indicator should be turned on. The enable the alert red indicator should also be turned on and this is what allows you to then have the red LED flash when something goes wrong. So you need to then specify the high and low alarm limits. For vaccine fridges the readings need to be below 2 degrees or above 8 degrees. For food fridges the readings need to be below 0 degrees or above 5 degrees. We recommend that you don't flash the red LED until you've had four consecutive readings in a row. This ensures that you won't have it flashing red for false alarms, such as when you're reloading a fridge or the door's been opened for slightly too long, but not long enough to have a serious impact on what's in the fridge. The clear and reset alarm when start mark button pressed should be turned on. This means that when the red is flashing, all you have to do is push the start mark button to stop it and have it flash green again. Otherwise you must plug it into the computer and download the results. Do not turn on the configure requires a password or download requires a password unless you really want the feature. The number of support requests that we get from people who have accidentally put in a password and then forgotten what it is, is huge. This just saves that little bit of grief. Once you've done all of this, Simply press the next button and the settings here will be downloaded into the connected log tag. 